All right, welcome back. In this video, we will take a quick look at how to get started with WX Python, how to install it and use it to initialize our first application, as well as customizing our window and finally adding a few widgets to it. So to start, we will first install WX Python. To do this, you can use the command pip install WX Python in your command prompt or any terminal. In my case, I already have it installed. All right, now to initialize a simple application, we will first start by importing WX. We will then need to create an app. We can do this by assigning a variable to WX.app to initialize a new app. This is necessary to create our application and to help people to handle things like our event loop. We will then need to run app.main loop and this essentially starts an infinite loop to allow it to react to things such as user clicks or when the user resizes the window. We will then also need to create a frame using wx.frame and this essentially creates the window that you see. And when initializing it, the first argument it expects is a parent object. In this case, since we want this to be our main window, we will just specify the parent as none. We will then need to use frame.show so that it is actually visible to the user since it does not show by default. And if we run our application now, we can see that we already have a simple application, although there isn't anything on it right now. And another thing that we should add but isn't necessary but it is highly recommended as a panel. Our application will still be able to work without it, but it is necessary for things such as tab traversing, which we won't look at right now, but it is still recommended that we use it. So once we initialize a panel, it also expects a parent object. In this case, its parent will be the frame, so we will pass in the frame object. And if we run our application now, we now have the same application, but now the background color has changed to fit the same gray color that most other desktop applications have by default as well. Now that we have our application up and running, we will look at a few ways to customize it. The first one is adding a title, and we can do that by adding a keyword argument to our frame. So if I specify a title of my application, for example, we can see that within our application this is what appears at the top we can also add an icon to our application this is the small image that you usually see at the top right hand corner in my case i have this example icon here and something to note is that when we are setting an icon it must have the extension of .ico so we will first start by initializing a new icon once we have initialized the application and we will send that to the path of our icon and we will then need to use frame.setIcon and specify the argument as our icon that we have created and if we run our application now we can see that our application now has the icon at the top right hand corner another useful method that we can use to customize our application window is using the set background color method there are a few ways to specify the background color, but perhaps the easiest one is using a hex code. So what I would do is just to use a color picker, selecting a color and copying the hex code over. And now our application has that same color that we've chosen. It just as a quick tip, if you are having trouble coming up with colors that fit well together, you can go to this website that has color combinations that work well together that, that have been made by other designers. I'll leave a link to this website below as well. If we want to restrict the size of our application, such as at the maximum size the user can resize it to, we can use the set max size method and that expects a tuple of the width and the height of the maximum size I'll use 400 by 400 for example and now the user can resize the window past that we can also use set min size if we want the window to be a list of assistant size 
And lastly, we can use set size to specify the initial size of our window. Now, when we launch our application, it is usually somewhere around the screen, but usually what we would want is for it to be exactly at the center of the screen. So an easy way to do that is just using frame.center and this will automatically center the window within our screen. We can also use the maximize method to maximize the application once it has been launched. Now that we have customized our window, we will look at adding a few widgets to it. The first one is to add some text to it, which we can do by using WX or static text. We first need to pass in the parent argument, in this case that is the panel. And one of the keyword arguments that we can use to customize this widget is the label. And this essentially is the text that we want displayed within the window. So whenever a string value that was specified as the label will be set as the text of this widget. We can also set the background color just like our window. In this case, I'll just use this gray color. We can also just set the foreground color and that refers to the color of the text. I'll just set this to a white color. When we initialize our static text, another option that we can set is the size of this text. And to do that, we can just specify a tuple of the width and the height of the text. I will specify mine to be 100 by 100. But as you can see, this only increases the size of the background color, but not the actual font size of our text. If we want to increase the font size of our text, we will first need to store the current font, which you can do by using panel.getFont. That will return the current font that has been used by this window. We can then use the current font object to set the point size using the set point size method. I'll set mine to 16. And once we are done modifying the font, we can set it back to the font of the panel by using panel.setFont and specifying that as the current font that we have changed the size of. So if we launch our application now, we can see that the font size of the text has been changed. There are other useful methods that we can change on this font object. One of them is to change is to make it underlined using the set underlined method and specifying an argument of true. Then we can make the font bold by using current font dot set weight, and the font weight refers to how bold it is. So we can specify an option of, for example, wx dot font weight underscore bold. There are a few more options here that. You can that you can experiment with. Another useful option is to set the position of our text. We can do this by specifying the position keyword argument. In my case, I'll specify a position of 100 by 100. This essentially means 100 pixels horizontally away from the top right hand corner and 100 pixels vertically away from the top right hand corner. Now setting the position manually like this is not ideal, especially because once the user has resized the window, the widget will still stay in place. And this is just a very rigid way of positioning our widgets. So we will look at a much more flexible way of approaching this using layout managers in the next video. If we want to set an image within our application, we can use the static bitmap widget and we first need to pass in the parent which is the panel in our case. I will then initialize the bitmap above. Using wx.bitmap, I will assign it to a variable called application bitmap and, uh, and it expects a path to the image. In my case, I will use the same application icon
then you need to specify the bitmap as the bitmap object that we have created and within our application we now have that bitmap object and once again we can specify things like the position of it and i'll just leave it at that for this video just to keep it short and simple we will explore a lot more of what wx python has to offer in the upcoming videos but just to give a quick recap Whenever we want to start a new WX Python application, we first need to initialize a new app. And we then need to start the main loop of it. We also will need to create a new frame. And it is highly recommended as well to create a panel. And we need to use the show method on our frame to customize our window. We can, for example, set the title, the icon, as well as the size of our window. We can create a text widget to display some text on the screen using the static text widget. And for the images, we can use the static bitmap widget where we will need to specify a bitmap object. So that's about it for this video. In the next one, we will look at how to lay out our widgets in WX Python. We will take a look at a few more widgets as well. If you have any suggestions or video ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if this video has helped you or if you have enjoyed this video, please consider possibly subscribing or liking this video to see out more of such content and to help my channel out.